guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was just recently away, hence the weird looking fan. You know, it's been a while since I've posted anything or done anything lately because I've been crazy busy with trying to get a job and doing all sorts of kind of other things. I'm going to be doing, attempting, attempting to make my own glam makeup look, which I've watched thousands of videos today to figure out what the hell I'm doing. So we're gonna start. <laughs> right now I can't see bloody anything, but we're gonna do this blind as well, so this is gonna be interesting. So, like some YouTubers do like a mask beforehand to prep the skin, so I've had this mask for a while, so I found today was a good opportunity. It's the primer mask from Sephora, light reflecting pigments. So we're gonna start with this now. Me, how do you open this? Oh my god, this is already a mess. <laughs> Let's not get that in my mouth. Okay. Unfold the mask. Done. Apply the mask to clean dry face. Okay, well my face is clean. It was dry but not clean. I'm gonna start for three minutes. So we're gonna see how that goes. My face and to eat. I don't think it does, but it feels nice. Cool. It's cooling me down. I feel like I should be like um I feel like Katya. Almost. If you don't know who that is, you need to watch. It's a freaking drag race. That's what you need to do because she has a fan as a prop, so hush now. We're almost there. Oh my god, this feels like the longest three freaking minutes ever. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop it. The product's not letting me stop it. Time for the reveal. Oh. Okay, I think it said rub it. So <laughs> rub it down to the neck. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some highlight. People use these ones to like put on some highlight. So we're gonna put this on. Wow, that's a lot. Right, we're gonna do a little. Swash oh well the thing a lot of people put highlight on the bottom as like a base. I don't know. Makes her skin look nice and pretty. My face looks really red. Why does it look red? Let's put some in my brows. Why not? Let's get some brows some highlight. Underneath the chin, cause let's brighten up the double chin area. Why not? I also see a lot of people use NYX. 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 I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not a mask. That was not close. I didn't close that. I'm a mess. What am I doing? I literally bought this because it was also on sale. It's cute. It's got a little drop so we can do this. Oh wow, it's really liquidy. Let's trim beige. Why not? Actually, I think it doesn't look terrible. Like, I think it looks great. Right. I think. My skin looks pretty shiny actually with the highlight underneath. If you have like dry skin and you want to give yourself a more of a glow, put highlight underneath and it gives you a look. It makes your skin look more, I don't know, bright? I think that's why they do it. I don't know. We're just making things as we go. It's also weird to blend it. I feel like certain parts my skin looks like purple. This is the mirror we have. I said I give this need some concealer now. Where's my concealer? It's over here. So I got these little brushes off Wish. If only a few people know what Wish is, but it's a very cheap app and you can actually get some decent things off of it. I got this little silicone brush, so it helps me save up on product. I've seen that seem like a guru thing. 
they took a while to get here, but I'm pretty satisfied with how they're working. So you do like a little star, which is my color. Alright. <laughs> I have that smile line, so we're gonna do it. Down across this area, why not? And some people do it on their nose, so we're gonna do some on their nose. I feel like that was such a weird look I gave. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on our forehead too. Because everyone puts it on their forehead. I think this is a look, honey. This is a look. So now we're gonna blend it. I see some people put foundation over top of their lips because I think this helps with like lipstick. Next. And we contour, blush, and highlight. So we're starting with our contour, which is the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I've had this in for years. So I first go like this, and then I do like circles upwards towards my ear, and then I do it a little bit below, and now the other side. So what I do, I also pinch onto a brush, dab it in, do it up the sides of my nose. Ow, I just got my eye. <laughs> eh. I hate when the powder gets my eyes. Now, I'm going to use the Laura uh, Messier uh, translucent powder. I love this stuff. It's not too heavy or anything. Like, I find it bakes my skin really good. Now that term. So now we're just doing underneath the eyes because we don't want our eyeshadow to have a lot of fallout. Right underneath on here. So I fall it all the way to my mouth. And then I do the tip of my nose. Hopefully, I'm doing this in the right order. People are probably saying, that's not how you do it. You in a different order. Everyone has a different order. I actually have some popular makeup here. I have Morphe. I have two Morphe palettes, but we're going to probably use one of these two. This one's too colorful. Okay, so we're going to use the other one. We're going to use, they say the names, don't they? They The 15D, the Day Slate. Our fall, because we're in fall now. So we're going to use some browns, and we're going to use oranges. Oranges actually look good with my skin, so I'm going to do that. I'm dropping stuff. As always. So I use Intercosmetics brushes from school. Because I'm school. So we're using these ones, because why not? So we're going to take the 415 So we're going to take the 415 Intro Cosmetics brush and we are going to put it in this one here in the middle that's called Editor. So we're going to just, wow that looks a little bit more orange, okay maybe not. <laughs> so we're going to actually use this one instead, the Epic color, oh yeah that's better, okay. And then we're going to take it and we're going to make like a V shape on the outer corner of our eye. As you can see, I like I made that beginning line, so now I just have to blend it to the rest of my face. Face, eyeball. I don't know body parts. I just passed high school. So we're doing good. I don't want to set in too much longer. I'm just brushing off this section and this one over here. Just because the translucent powder sometimes makes my skin look extra white. We're going to fix our nose and our forehead. Too dark, I'll just go back over with like my sponge or my powder if I use it, if I use it, like, calm yourself outside. Alright, so there's the blended area of the first base color. Another thing I see makeup gurus do is that they get, like, a paler color and they, like, cut the crease, cut, cut the crease 
I don't know the proper terminology for it, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so we're gonna pick this lighter color here now. And we're just gonna start from the corner and brush over. Just like that. That is horrible. <laughs> it's as good as it's getting, so we're gonna make do. Then we're gonna do the other side and out. Nope. And we're gonna use like a shimmering color. Excuse you. And we're gonna use a shimmering color. Let's use this one. We're gonna use the one that's right above the Epic. It's called Glow. Into Cosmetics 305. Into Glow. That's annoying. I hate doing that. I hate listing the brushes. Why do you gotta list the brush? Who's gonna buy brushes for me? No one. Okay, so that's what I- ooh, That's looking cute. Okay, we're going on. This is looking alright for being blind and trying to attempt to do this on the first try. It's looking good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the one that's like, you see how it's an O? We started with Epic, we went to Glow. Now we're going to blend. Find this little spiky color in the corner of my eye because all famous people do it, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so now we're going to blend from the brown. Now we're going to blend the brown into the orange. Even this, what the hell I'm using? Okay, so this is the sample version of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I'm broke and can't buy any more money. Right, so once you got that one, what I usually do, I also use the Marc Jacobs mascara because I like this one too. So we're gonna use some of this. Also, I usually put the Better Than Sex just on the bottom. Everybody makes a weird face during that mascara. Don't judge. on these no nothing brows so what I usually use just for like I don't know, a base for your brows that's a thing or to keep them together because I always have that one hair that just comes down so what we're just gonna do is the gimme brow benefit a little mascara for your brows and then we're just gonna brush it on through I appreciate it Yeah. This is what my brows look like now with the gimme brow. And it was like iconic London. I'm such a bad person for not knowing my products. So it is a brow cushion. Anyways, so it comes with like a little brow spilly, as we call it, in the makeup world. And then we have our brush. Let my gimme brow stuff set in, dry if we must. And then I go back through and I just brush them, make sure they're all together. So we have a lighter color and a darker color, as you can see. So darker color, edge, brighter color, beginning of my brow. So now we're going to the lighter side and now we're going to do the beginning part here. So I align the top here and the bottom. It looks kind of dark but I don't care because I like them dark because I don't like seeing- I have a pet peeve when it comes to my brows, okay? I don't like seeing skin show through my brows. So we get some glasses so I can actually see what I'm looking like. Okay, 
Those are some cousins. Start looking a little bit better now. Okay, we good. Here comes the highlight. <gasps> this is probably like my favorite part. Even though sometimes uh, people get these like even glowing highlight pieces that I can never freaking get. You know what? We make with all. Now what we're gonna do is get our little bargain brush that does not have a code. Rub it in that highlight. Let me take it right on top of our cheekbone. Oh, yes! Let me do a slight V with it. Come down. You know what we also do sometimes? We do it underneath the brow brow. Oh, yes. God. This is ginger. We've been looking cute now. A little bit pasty, but it's okay. It's okay. We're still looking cute. You know what? Sometimes I need a little bit of glitter. Because glitter is okay. Oh my god, we got some eyes. Brown, a little light pink with some glitter on it. We're looking cute. You know what you need? Oh, some fun too. Body stuff. It's got perfume in it too, so we're gonna smell it. Now I need to go change, so be on me. We're gonna put some glasses on because I need to see what I'm looking like. Okay, this works. Okay. I'm gonna take the pump. Put a little bit on it. You don't need a lot with this stuff because it's the first part of me. We're gonna do because now I got a brush. Squirt a little bit there. And you know what? People do it here too. We're gonna put some highlight on our collarbones because people like some collarbones. So. And now we're done. This is my first attempt at a glamour look. Thank you guys for coming to watch my video. And that's all I got for you guys today. If you want to see another. Tempted glamour looks with whatever bargain stuff I got here. Comment down below or give me a like or type a comment if you want me to do something else. If you want me to do more Halloween looks, I'll do more Halloween looks and stay away from this stuff for a while. I'm okay with that. <laughs>